Afghan people have been told that their country is not good to live because they came in, uh, the American uh, people came, uh, the American forces came in to say that we are going to elevate from what you were to a better life. Uh, and they promised, that's how the, you know, freeing Afghanistan was, uh, you know, that entire operation went off uh, from the Taliban. Now, uh, that has not happened because if you look at the images from Kabul, people are trying to get out because of fear. Right, now, the, now that that is, I saw all those, those are the images that have been uh, privileged in the Western media and that's what we are privileging too. But that is a uh, last photo shot, uh, a sh last uh, photograph of a series of photographs which, which we are not being shown. In, uh, what, what in, do you think? in 2012, the, I mentioned this once, uh, the Amnesty International in a side event at, in Geneva, the human rights uh, sessions, uh, the Amnesty International showed a beautiful documentary about the, the violence unleashed by the Taliban you know, on the Afghan people and it's very moving. But no mention of, uh, of the drones and the cluster bombs and everything that the pro-US, pro-allied forces, Afghan uh, militias were doing in Afghanistan. That there's blanket. It's like that what, what, what uh, Vagisha said is correct. You know, we, we see only the death count of uh, allied troops, but not about the Afghan deaths. Now yeah. we are seeing, uh, seeing that coming out. So. Uh, so there were a lot of people, obviously some people want to go, maybe all, everyone wants to go. But we are, uh, does that tell us the entire story about the last 20, 21 mm -hmm. years? Now you want, want to talk, you can even talk about the Soviet, uh, so, you know, the, the government that was ousted you know, in the late uh, 1980s, that government was backed by the Soviets and what happened and what kind of uh, politics, agendas and uh, performance those people had. But let us not forget that uh, the Mujahideen and all these uh, other groups were funded by rich Saudis yes, 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 yes. who are, uh, and that country is the strongest uh, uh, Arab ally uh, of the United States. There, there is no democracy there. They, they treat the dissidents with uh, extreme violence. There is no freedom for women. All these progressive things that they're supposed to have. Uh, so, so it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work. It's not about democracy, peace, and, and good what, life for, for What for you're trying girls. to say is the fact that, you know, the real picture that, that is being shown around the world is not exactly the real picture because uh, you know if we go <coughs> fear is there that is that is nothing i mean we, we we can't even dispute that fear has been there if you look at all the social media but, but said is right no 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 see taliban in its history has not shown way we can define progressive in any way we want. Sometimes people take the extreme right, right wing, uh, neoliberal economic uh, doctrine as the most progressive thing. So, but even if we were to keep that aside, uh, the way that Taliban has operated in the last uh, almost 30 years is not something that people should be cheering or could be cheering. No, and I don't think uh, the lack of uh, the protests. No, it, it this is what I'm trying to get to as well, uh, Malinda. Now, if the saviors, mm. okay, uh, came here telling, uh, came, came to Afghanistan saying, okay, we are going to save you, that has not happened. Yeah, that has not happened, but then, uh, you know, as Noam Chomsky in his book, which I, which I talk about a lot, uh, what Uncle Sam really wants, in that that clearly indicates what American uh, foreign policy is all about. They will support military juntas, monarchies, uh, dictatorships, totalitarian regimes, fundamentalists, anything, you name it. To and create chaos. Yeah, uh, no, not to, uh, as long as, as that particular government serves uh, America's okay, interest. But about how we deal with the, your initial statement about how we should think about now, Ranil Vikram Singh, uh, leader of the United National Party, member of parliament, now he has said we should not recognize the yeah. Taliban count. Should we recognize uh, by the same token we have recognized the United States of America, the the, rogue, the biggest, worst rogue nation that the world has known in the last 30, 70 years, 50. I mean, you, what have they not done? Every American over uh, under 20 years of age, they are growing up and they have grown up in a country which is at war. 
right which had uh, which has um, hundreds of military bases in hundreds yeah they, they have no clue that they are uh, in a that's war a different because matter that's because, a, that's, because that's, that's the that's the, that's, the, that's the you know the bubble that they live and and every single time these incidents like even afghanistan it was it pretty much america's bubble got popped again but okay. as far as we are concerned as a country afghanistan as a country has not operated uh, against us uh, in any mm-hmm. major kind of way so we deal with governments that does not necessarily mean we condone or support or cheer their system of governance.